Hello, nuggets. Okay, so for today's blog, couldn't think about what to uh, talk about, so that's going to be a common thing. Um, but then last night, uh, Laura and I watched um, The Hack. I think it's called The Hack, something The Hack. It's a Netflix documentary, um, and it's about uh, corrupting uh, democracy, basically. You know, it's about. Cambridge Analytica and their involvement in Brexit and the Trump Foundation, although basically their involvement in politics is what matters. Um, I get the feeling it just happened to be Trump and it just happened to be Brexit. It really didn't matter who was running. I don't think their ideal is in any way political. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I think they just... They, weren't, they, would, they couldn't care less. If it had been Hitler, they'd have been working for him. If it had been Stalin, they'd have been working for him. Uh, but basically what they did was they manipulated, uh, they or rather they researched data to the point where they could pinpoint which people to focus on and target particular types of ads towards those people and divide them and sway them one way or the other, but in a very nefarious way, a very underhand way, right, to, to prey on them, basically, preyed on their fears. Anyway, the root of all of that, of, of the reason why they did it, um, is the point of this blog, which is today or today's uh, video log, which is uh, money uh, and how much I hate it. <laughs> I hate money. I absolutely hate money. I mean, I love having it, you know, um, but I find that whenever money is involved in anything I do, I get depressed. I don't like being around it. I don't like being around money. I find I'm very uncomfortable in in expensive restaurants, I'm, ex I'm uncomfortable in sp expensive areas. I mean, I live in Los Angeles and uh, when we go to, if we have to go to Beverly Hills, you know, or any of those expensive areas, I'm just, I just feel weird. I don't like those areas. I don't like the, the sense of entitlement, the feeling in those areas. Like Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills, which is like a very affluent area in Los Angeles, um, just makes my skin crawl. I feel dirty just being there. I feel like I'm abusing someone just being there, you know. Um, and it all comes down to my intense dislike for money um, and for what it does to us as a society. And, and I, it's so naive, I guess, but I make a lot of decisions based on the fact that I hate money and it means that I don't make money, you know. And I have made money. I've had some very, uh, I've had a couple of successful runs you know, various careers where I've made good money and I've bought a house and, you know, things have gone well. Um, but the truth is I didn't really pursue the money. The people I was working with just paid me well because they thought that's how you keep this guy. And it, as it turned out, I didn't. I left one job. I used to work at Treyarch and they were paying me a lot of money. I mean, they did everything they could to keep me. I just wasn't happy. I needed to move on. I needed to do something different. So I left, which I regretted for a while after, not because I missed the job, but because I really missed the money. And I hate money. So again, it put me in this complexity of, God, I hate money. I hate it. Why can't I just have it? I mean, my ideal scenario is to win the lottery. I know everyone's is. But mine is just because I could put it in a bank, have it direct pay all of my bills, and then just never think about it again. I don't need for anything in my life, really, apart from paying the bills. You know, when it comes to birthdays and Christmas, what do you want? Nothing. I've got it all. I really don't. I'd like a green screen behind me <laughs> just to play with I like toys you know but in general this there's, there's there's nothing I really want and I just I just money is absolutely the root of all evil and watching that documentary last night I'm just watching all of these people with this drive for this pursuit of money and power and strength and and the ugliness that it brings out in us and I just long for the Star Trek universe, <laughs> you know, where they got rid of money is in this uh, ris ridiculous utopia that I'm living in in my head. But I just find it so depressing and I don't know if I need to fix that or not. You know, whether I, I need to just try and learn to respect money, money and maybe respect it a little bit more and feel a little bit more comfortable with it. Because right now I just I, I just hate it. I find it repugnant. The idea of it, the pursuit of it. You know, of, of 
and I'm in America, and I'm in I'm in California, I'm in Los Angeles in America. I'm in the most capitalist place I could possibly be in, and I'm sitting here hating money, and I'm also doing it from a position of extreme privilege, you know. So I, there's all of these 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 contradictions and and these ridiculous statements I'm making, but I can't help what's in my heart, and what's in my heart is fuck money, man. Probably wouldn't feel like that if I was, you know, working class broke and had massive student debt. But where from where I'm sitting, it's fuck money, man. I just hate it. So I need to figure out a better relationship with it, though, because I do want to make some decisions. This life I dream of where I don't have to do anything for money requires me to lead a life where I start making some money and then I can stop doing that. I can get out of the rat race, you know? And I'm getting to an age now where I feel like if I'd applied myself a little bit um, more consistently and hadn't just walked away from jobs, I could have done that. Like if I'd have stayed at that tray art job for probably only another five years, I probably would be retired now. I mean, I would not be super rich, but I could probably have figured it out and like, I think I have enough money, I could retire now. Or I could just go do what I love to do without freaking out and worrying about, you know, how I'm going to pay the next bill. So I think I have to improve my relationship with money. I don't know how I do that, but if anyone has any ideas, please post and let me know. Um, Yeah, that's it. Money. I haven't got enough of it. Don't want more of it, but I do want more of it. And I don't want more of it. But I need more of it. But I don't want any more of it. All right, have a good day, you nuggets. Go make some money and then wipe your ass with it. Bye.